Hey guys, it's Sam with The Blind Life. Today we're finally going to take a look at the Helix HD. So yes indeed, this is the Helix HD, a much more affordable desktop CCTV. It's also a very portable desktop CCTV. So if you're looking for one that you can take back and forth to the office maybe, or maybe even to school, this would work very well for that. And it's not nearly as expensive as the other big dog CCTVs that are out there. This one is about a third of the cost of some of the other ones I featured on my channel. So definitely check this one out. This one was sent to me by my buddy John over at Irie AT. I'll have a link down below where you can go to learn more about this device. You'll be able to get specs and pricing and all that stuff there. So let's take a quick look at the device and then we will fire it up and see how well it works. All right, let's take a quick tour of the Helix HD. Number one, it looks a lot like a stapler, doesn't it? Every time I look at it, that's what I'm thinking. It looks like a stapler. <laughs> Very simple design. You've got a platform here, a base that you can put your paper on top of with an arm coming up the top and it has the camera under here as well as the lights. Power button is on the underside of the arm here. To fold this down to transport it, you just rotate the head of the arm here up underneath and then fold the arm down flat on top of the base. And that is how you fold it down for transportation. We have just a few ports on the back here. Of course, there's the port for the power. You have a USB port. Then you have an HDMI in and an HDMI out, which you use that to connect to a monitor. The Helix does come with a wireless controller here. You've got a dial here for your magnification, a dial for your colors. You have a settings button on this side. There's a contrast dial here. And then there's a dial to control the reading line indicators. And all of these dials are also buttons. Now, if you don't need all of these functions, they also provide this little cover that magnetically attaches to the controller, hiding, covering up some of those extra functions and simplifying the controller to just the colors and the magnification. Okay, let's fire this on and see what she can do. Now, it says it's searching for the wireless controller. All you have to do is press a button to connect the two and it is connected now. So, let's move this into place here. You can adjust the head of the device here to get a better look at what you're trying to look at. So let's take a look at our zoom. We get a bar down here indicating the level of magnification. Right now we're at 4.2, I think it says. So now we'll check out our different color options. And to do that, first you have to click the color button here to invert the color or to go into the color options. And then we can cycle through them here. Uh, let's actually flip this over so we can look at some black text on a white background. That's what it is normally. So we can cycle through all the different color combinations and there's a ton of different color combinations. That's normal, just black and white. Then we have the inverted. And then we start to cycle through the very familiar yellows, blues, greens. There's the blue and yellow, which I never understand. I've never met anybody that likes the blue and yellow, but they keep putting it on all of these devices. I don't know. The red, that's kind of cool. I kind of like the red a little bit, maybe. So, and then click it again to go back to normal color. Now let's take a look at some of the extra options on the wireless controller here. So I believe this is contrast. So yeah, you can make it brighter or you can make it darker. And once again, you have a little indicator down here at the bottom that tells you how uh, the level of brightness you've got. Then the button for the reading lines. If we click through this, we can cycle through the different reading line options, the reading guides. 
and uh, then you can spin the dial to customize each one. If I click it again, we have vertical lines for a column. Click it again and we get the shades, so it blocks out everything except the reading area in the middle. Whoops, that's kind of nice. And we can make that any size we choose. Then we can do the vertical shades. Then we have this one that has multiple lines and you can space them out or make them closer together here. And then the last one is a box in the middle and you can make that larger or smaller. Now there's also a settings button. If you click that, it takes you into a settings menu. Let's change the menu text size. There we go, we can make it even bigger. Yeah, I like the bigger. It even has an advanced settings where you can come in and you can customize the manual focus as well as the lighting controls. So, a lot of customization here through the menu system. That's pretty nice and then we're gonna exit out of there. So all in all, just a solid little CCTV. It doesn't have OCR functionality. Uh, it doesn't have the expensive device bells and whistles, but what it does have, uh, it's a good price for it, and I think it's gonna be plenty for most people. I think I would love to have this thing. Definitely better than the CCTV that I currently use. There you go guys, this is the Helix HD. Once again, if you want to learn more about this device, check out the description box down below. I'll have a link over to Irie AT where you can uh, check out the specs and pricing and all of that and find out how you can purchase one yourself. And while you're poking around down below the video, be sure to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this device. If this looks interesting to you or if you think it's still too expensive, let me know down below. I'm very interested to hear those comments. If you have any questions, leave those down there as well. I'll do my best to help out. As always, guys, it really helps the channel. If you like the video, hit that like button. And also, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all the videos coming out in the future. If you do like the channel, you like what I'm doing here, then I encourage you to help support The Blind Life. There is a donate link down below, and all donations will go towards making more awesome content for you guys. Thanks again, Sam with The Blind Life. We'll see you next time.